big right hand of her own, and Norik might regret that little flurry because she came oh, off a bad shot. Fast in the right hook, puts the pole on the floor. Hopefully she is okay, but you know, when you're coming in off a defeat, you've got to come back with a victory for your own mental well-being, haven't you? And uh, to, to get an exclamation point like that with the big stoppage as well, it's got to be a, it's got to be a great feeling for Shannon Courtney. The state of my hair. Oh my god. Shannon, just uh, <laughs> massive congratulations. Just try and put into words how much that win means to you, especially coming back from your first career defeat. Mm -hmm. um, if there were any lingering doubts or demons, did you just exercise them there? Yeah, 100%. I think the fight was it was scrappy, but we knew it was going to be a scrappy fight. We knew it was going to be messy. I got greedy with the right hand, and I admit that, but I knew, I knew I had to catch her flush to knock her out because she was tough as anything, and she was just running at me like a bull, but I'm glad I got the win now because of kind of a loss, you know, you, you never feel great. I, the camp was perfect. I have got the best team possible with, you know, H, Troy, Charlie, who couldn't be here tonight, I'm gutted, and Adam, so no, it's been a beautiful camp and I'm glad I got the win. Have you got a message for her? I don't know if she'll be watching. See you next year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>
It's That's over! It. What a win! Carlos Gongora! He was an eight to one underdog. Incredible performance, two knockdowns in the last round. And we've had one of the biggest upsets we've seen on DAZN in 2020. Wow, that's all I have. To, I mean, the fight was amazing, top to bottom. And that ending, wow. What a fight. Hey, hey, hey. For your winner by knockout, still undefeated, and now the IBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Carlos Gongora. And now, set to make his ring walk, the reigning, defending, unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. Coming out to some rocky music. The next phase of Joshua's career has, of course, fantastic possibilities. More champions are waiting out there. But he has a top 10 heavyweight in the ring with him tonight, and we will find out just who he is going forward right now. Knocking Pulev around the ring, hits him with an uppercut as well. Another uppercut, that hurt Pulev. Pulev's on the ropes, he's hurt, he turns his back. That's the second time Pulev turns his back. That fight could have been stopped. That's a knockdown, but that could have been stopped. Oh, another one, and Pulev is hurt. Pulev is rocked, he's on shaky legs, and down he goes. That was three consecutive uppercuts that Pulev got hit with, and he is badly hurt. He is wobbling around the ring. 15 seconds now for Joshua to finish. Third knockdown of the fight for Anthony Joshua. Right hand, and down goes Pulev, and that's it. And there is your ferocious finish. The count is on. Your winner by knockout, and still the unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. Wembley Arena. Wembley Arena, can you hear me? Let's make some noise. 1,000 fans in here, let's make some noise. I love you all. Thank you so much for having me this evening. Thank you very much. Your thoughts on the fight? It's a fight. Let's talk more action. That was my thoughts on it. Let's talk more action. We done our press conference on Thursday. On Friday, it was a bit of back-to-back, -back, but boxing's about let's talk and more action. And I hope everyone was satisfied tonight. Not only with my fight, but the whole undercard as well. Last year, right? Uh, 2019. Look, bro, I started this game in 2013. I've been chasing all the belts. I've been dealing with mandatories. Of course, I want a challenge. It's not about the opponent. It's about the legacy and the belt. Whoever's got the belt, I'd love to compete with them. If that is Tyson Fury, let it be Tyson Fury. 